Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games. In this tutorial, we will be creating a MOBA style camera, very similar to the camera used in Dota and League of Legends, so stick around. In this tutorial, we will be creating a MOBA styled camera. I apologize very sincerely for the lateness of this tutorial, but I was having issues with my computer that I use for editing. This camera that we will be creating will be very similar to the one used in Dota 2 or League of Legends, but it won't be completely identical either. If you've been living under a rock for the past couple years, the MOBA camera is iconic to the genre. It moves towards the border that the cursor hits. Therefore, if your mouse cursor hits the right border, the camera will move right, and vice versa for all the different borders. We'll be talking about a ton of math in this tutorial, but I guarantee you, you won't, it won't end up being that complicated. Let's start out by opening up Unity. I've already created a basic scene that we will be using to test this script. The only object in this scene is a cube that I've scaled up and placed right in front of the camera, and we're going to use this to see if our camera moves at all. If we just hit the skybox, we wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was moving, that's why we've put this object here. Now let's get on with the scripting. Go to your project window and right click to pull up your create menu, go to create C Sharp Script. We'll name this script MOBACAM. Double click on the script to open it up in the code editor. The first thing we need to do is to make a variable that defines how fast our camera will move. I'm going to call this variable scroll speed. Next, we need to make a set of variables that define the boundaries of our screen. This is so that whenever the cursor hits the side of the screen, the camera will move that direction. Now let's go on with writing the actual logic of the script. Let's create a function called update. This is a function Unity has pre-made with their engine that allows anything in the function to continuously repeat once a frame. This is used mainly for input and if statements that need to be checked every frame. We need to make an if statement that triggers if the cursor hits a certain point on the screen. We can check for cursor position by using input.mouseposition followed by the axis that the mouse is moving on. Because we will be focusing on hitting the top and the bottom of the screen first, we will add .y. Now onto the math. We don't want to use these set numbers because a bigger screen would change how the statement would act compared to a smaller screen. Thankfully, Unity has a class called Screen, which allows us to see the height and width of the screen down to the decimal number, along with a lot of other information, like pixel quality and etc. We'll use dot height to use the height of the screen in this variable, but we don't want the exact height of the screen to be the barrier, we want there to be a boundary, which is why we need to multiply the screen height by the top barrier variable. We also need to make the cursor position greater than the screen height, because we're going to going from top to bottom. Inside the if statement, we'll use transform.translate to move the game object in the world space. We can use vector3.up to move the camera up no matter the rotation. We need to multiply the by time.delta time and the scroll speed variable in order for the camera to have a controllable movement speed. Also, we need to add in space.world so that no matter the rotation of the camera, the object always moves up. Now we just need to copy and paste this again to have our bottom barrier set up. In order for the bottom one to work, we need to change the greater than sign to a less than sign and also change the barrier from top barrier to bot barrier. We also we need to change vector3.up to vector3.down. Now we can copy and paste these two statements again so that we can set up the left and the right. We'll use the axis for the mouse position and then we'll also change the screen.height to screen.width. Finally, we need to change the barrier variables and change the vector3 the camera is moving on and after that we finish our script. Save the script and then jump right back into Unity. In the Unity Editor, drag the script on top of the camera object in the hierarchy. Now select the camera in the hierarchy and go to your inspector window. On the MobaCam script, we need to set the variables. I'm going to set scroll speed to 20, but you can set it to whatever you want based on your personal preference. Now we need to set the barrier variables. Here's where the math comes in. We want the top 3% of the screen to be the top barrier, and we want the bottom 3% to be for the bottom barrier. So we can set top barrier to 0.97 and bot barrier to 0.03. This will work out the percentages perfectly and this should work on most screens. Depending on screen size, you may have to change the percentage to 3 to 5 or something like that if your screen is smaller. The red barrier works the same as the top barrier, so we'll set it to 0.97 and thus set left barrier to 0.03. Let's test this out to make sure this works properly. Drag the cursor to the top of the screen and the camera should start moving up. You can test this with all the borders of the screen, but they should all work the same. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if you didn't, don't forget to drop a like on this video and maybe hit subscribe so that you never miss a tutorial. Any questions about this tutorial or something you'd like to see done in Unity, comment below and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch. All of the links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.